A woman is behind bars in connection to a series of seemingly random attacks with a baseball bat. One of those attacks caught on video showing the suspect swinging the bat at a woman pushing a stroller. Police say it happened at least six times to different people. Most victims, luckily, not seriously hurt. And Christina- At least six times. Florida's uh, from our Chicago station. This look like a, a Karen, man. Yeah, I about to say that. I see glider to him. You know, it, it feels- yeah, if this was a sister, she would have been like Barry Bonds out that point. Yeah, somebody would have been on the ground, bleeding, <laughs> hurting. She would have connected. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, this is some glider. She, she, she would have went for the straight for the baby. Yeah, oh, some well, sister, no, the sister has been in so many fights that Girl. it just she she just she just could handle this better. Yeah. The glider woman, this woman's never been in a fight before. She's just some crazy glider woman. <laughs> she's just a <laughs> Yo, if you. If you're going to do something, do it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not seriously. Smash, too. And Christine Flores oh, from the Chicago smash. station spoke with one of the victims and the witness who shot the video. This shocking clip that shows a woman swinging a bat attacking another woman with a baby stroller happened at least six different times to eight women. Physically, I think I'm still sort of uh, the adrenaline still there. Um, but the damage is just like major welts on my legs, my arms. Uh, she got me in the hand. It hurts a little bit. Honestly, I don't care. My daughter's okay. And um, she didn't get either of our heads. One of the victims who did not wish to be identified says she was out for a walk with her three-year-old daughter near Campbell and Berteau when they were attacked. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a white sedan going, driving very slowly. And then uh, the sedan pulled over and I turned to grab my daughter's hand and there was a woman with long black hair with a uh, facial like a mask on and sunglasses holding a baseball bat at her side and she was walking toward us looking me like right at me and said i'm going to beat your baby to death with this bat and holy shit whoa i only thing i hate i just wish she would have ran into one of them sisters with like pink striped braids but here's the thing, yeah. But you know, here's the thing, though. It's the same thing we talk about those crazy people down um, on the subway and shit. Oh yeah, they pick and choose. Yeah, yeah. She ain't <laughs> yeah she, they, they know who the fuck that crazy yeah. was. <laughs> started running after us, and I started screaming. I picked up my daughter and started running. The victim says the suspect was able to hit her a few times before neighbors came out to help. The helpers, like Mr. Rogers said, that's what I've been explaining to my daughter. She keeps asking about the bad woman and if she's going to come back. I think she saw that there were more and more people coming out and then got spooked and, and ran. It's a similar attack that police say happened at least five more times, like this one, where police say two women were walking with a baby stroller when they were attacked. A neighbor captured this moment and ran out to help. I thought she must know them and it was some kind of a joke or something and then i saw her start to hit the women with the baseball bat over and over again and the women were trying to push um, the attacker away so i ran out of my house and the attacker got in her car and drove away police say the suspect is an unknown female to the victims who would exit a white colored sedan with a bat and would then flee the scene this was so random and bizarre that I was started to feel like I was imagining that this happened. Obviously, I was not, but I, I told my, my daughter, uh, her school, my sister, I was, I was telling, slowly starting to tell people what happened, and I realized how insane it sounded coming out of my... Mace would have put that woman down, and she wouldn't yeah. even been able to find that car. She wouldn't have been <laughs> able to find that car. <laughs> yeah, she'd have been rolling around screaming. The police, yeah. she'd have been bumping into everything. Police would have came and got her ass because she wouldn't have found that fucking car. I can tell you that. But um, no. this is this is what I'm saying. This advertisement for Mace, man. I've been telling y'all, man. Mace, Mace, get you some fucking Mace. Bro. I'm out. This victim is now left with bruises and the thought of the bat welding woman attacking again. I don't know what the solution is, but yeah, I want her off the streets. She needs she needs help. She needs serious help, and she needs to be in jail for what she did yeah we'll good luck with that on this one that was christine Whoa. flores with our chicago affiliate reporting